Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So as you can see from the title, we've got a clean with me today. Um, it's also a little bit of uh, Ikea furniture making, which you'll see in the first part of the video, but hopefully you've got a cup of tea or coffee or hot chocolate and you can sit back and relax. So if you saw my Ikea haul, you will know that I uh, was looking to get a new coffee table, which I'd wanted for ages, but it was keep going in and out of stock. But um, I got the text and finally managed to pick it up. So um, I thought whilst I was cleaning, I would also put that together. Um, and I think this is called the Vajitsu or something. It's like, I'll link it in the box down below. Uh, but it's really good because it's two tables put together which we'll see in a minute but you could easily have them as two standalone tables which is really really great so you'll see in a minute that i put them together and i'm styling them and as i was watching this and um, making these so i was also watching silent witness on um bbc iplayer so hence why i keep looking at the screen a little bit These are the cushion covers that I got in my IKEA haul. So I'm just swapping the grey ones for the black ones. Um, yeah, just to try and match in a bit more of the black and just to vary it a bit so it's not so many like 50 shades of grey. But yeah, let me know what you think down below in the comments. And watching this video back, I can see there's a stick on the bottom of that desk, which on the bottom of the table, which is really annoying. Just so you know, I did get rid of that. Um, and also, interestingly, you'll see in a minute I make another side table and I put it with on the sofa, but I actually move it. I moved it the day after um, into that uh, where that white table is, just to make it so it wasn't so stark with the black and white. So I will try and if you look on my Instagram, I will upload another picture for you so you can see the two tables side by side. So once I've done all the making, I then went on to my usual job. So you cleaning the blinds. So I think I said before, we, I love these blinds, but you do need to dust them. Um, not that the dust is noticeable, but when you get close, you can definitely like see it. Um, but yeah, just giving them a quick dust. So I um, put the polish on and dust them one way, then I flip them around and dust them the other way as well. And then also just dust the bottom part. Um, but yeah, we really love these blinds and these are from blinds to go. So if you are looking for any um, new blinds, I'd recommend getting these ones. the kitchen so just started by wiping the island with this Sephora spray I think this is rhubarb and cassis I want to say and it smells really nice and it's already pre-made um, so that's useful it's a really big bottle as well and I think I got this from B&M so be on the look for and I'm looking for a Midnight Blooms one that's what I want next but um, I'll use this first uh, but yeah then going in with the Sif you my usual micro crystals um, and then this is a new cloth and like sponge it's supposed to be for a bathroom um and it's got like a scour side and like a smooth like leather chamois side um so i'm just using the leather chamois side to buff that into the unit feel like falling deeper 
once that's been buffed in I'm just going in with my method and uh, minky cloth uh, just to wipe off any leftover residue and just make sure the sides are really sparkling clean but um, yeah that minky cloth is really good and then just to clean the um, hob I've got some glass cleaner and another minky cloth which is specifically made for glass then again going on to the kitchen handles you know my drill with this so just the uh, method multi-surface spray and a cloth just to get rid of any grease marks and just to give them a buff and make sure they're looking all nice and smart then just going in with the glass cleaner and cloth again just to clean the oven to make sure there's no fingerprints or marks or anything on there and then moving on to our sink so again just going in with the uh, it's a flora and just a bit of paper towel just to get any of the uh, grime or dust. We don't really use this sink much um, for like washing up or anything, but um, yeah, just wanted to make sure it was given a clean so it looks smart um, and not dirty or anything. So going in with that, then again using the sif and the new sponge just to get rid of any marks. And I like it when it like lavers up and yeah, makes it look cool, doesn't it? Uh, but yeah, uh, exciting about cleaning. Who'd have thought? So yeah, just doing that, and then um, I noticed that the like sink bit, so like the plug hole was had a few marks on it. Um, I think I'm presuming from like water or stuff. So I just got a bit of um, barkeeper's friend, which we'll see in a minute, and just put that on there and use like the scourer side of the sponge. And oh my gosh, I can't recommend it enough. It came out like an absolute dream. So if you haven't tried barkeeper's friend, um, definitely I would definitely recommend it. Once the sink was all clean entirely, I then just uh, put some boiling water into the side bit and put in some Zaflora, so I think it was the rhubarb one. Um, just put a capful in there just to help make the room smell fresh and then went round with a quick hoover. Um, yeah, just making sure there was no debris or any dust or anything on the floor. And I just want to know what you're thinking, what So once downstairs was done, I then went upstairs and it was bed change day, so pulled um, all the old stuff off and put the new covers on. And then just did my usual in here, so gave the sideboards a dust and the TV unit, I also did the blinds up here and then I also did hoover um, and gave it all a nice spritz of Febreze to make sure it was all fresh, uh, ready for bed later. Falling deeper, cold on ice, not no more shit on. Keep on digging, and then no more get on. Just on this hard and easy go. Give them an hand and go to I'm 
언제쯤 알게 될까 너도 나와 같은 생각을 하고 있을까 한참을 멍하니 보다 보니 살짝 어두워진 색깔 불구스름 안 노을의 색깔 상상만으로도 좋은 상상만으로도 So that's it guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you aren't already. See you in the next one. Bye!